Hello everyone, this is GrayShaw17, bringing you another Hearts of Iron episode. This time playing as the United States of Communism, of course, of Communism. Now, uh, moving through, we also have Cuba, and we have Brazil, which is also Communist, and we're planning on taking over all of the Americas, followed by possibly ruling our rival Communist Party and dealing with the shit in Europe. But we'll see what happens. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Yep. Oy vey. I guess I could build infantry divisions. Let's see. Let me let me see how much I could train in the meantime. By the way, just so you know, Grayshot one five one is Not enough Brazil, equipment to train. Admiral Croc Never mind. Wonderful Cuba state. Need to shoot up my production before I'm gonna do any of that. Oh yeah, he's Cuba. Yeah, everyone. Just no, and no, no one is. No one cares. All right, good to know. Moving on. Um. Oh, you broke. Poor, poor, poor Croc. All my heart is broken, and I'll never recover. All he wanted to do was be loved. That's all he wanted to Don't do. Don't worry, I'm gonna give all my love to Haiti soon. Do you get all the gun, all the love bullets at them? Yes. Love bullets. Love bullets. I'm. I'm done. I'm leaving. Bye. At that remark, Except I'm. Accept our love. Accept it. Jesus Christ, what I walk into. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, so right now I'm building communists in my country. My brother in, uh, in Brazil and uh, Admiral Croc in Cuba, though, are preparing to conquer, uh, you know, the Americas. Around the world, uh, Japan and China are going at it. Uh, Iran is. Let me double check them. I actually don't know what they're doing. They haven't picked anything yet. We have uh, some mods on that increases focus trees from multiple countries. Brazil, Cuba, Sweden, Netherlands, Iran, China, Australia, which by the way is now becoming communist, Canada, and I think that's it. Mm. Oh, and by the way, look at Republican Spain now. I Oh, nice job, Mila Earhart. Oh, wow. Look at that. Republican Spain is countering and pushing deep into na- Oh, shit. Okay. Say that, but it's basically still an evil, even side on, well. Yeah. Also. Could be worse. Could be worse. Oh, a class conflicts divide United States. Alright, that's awesome. So I gained 15%. My unity- hey, what, what does that sound like to you? Um, it sounds like China declaring war on Tibet. Oh, wow. So it's there, really China good. is, I mean, Japan's about to do that with, I mean, hope, oh, shoot. So we got Italy complain. oh, God, you, Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian soil, United States exerts influence on Greece. Why Greece? Oh, Greece is going fascist. No. Uh, Cuba lays claims to the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, uh, guys. Oh my God! Pause it. Oh my God, Fred. <laughs> uh, I don't care. I just. <laughs> Lol. What? Thanks. Thanks, France. Thanks, Britain. Have a good time. They just gave me their Caribbean territories. Cuba will grow ever stronger. Holy God, you did grow. Oh my God. What, so what did you get? I'm guessing you got a lot of naval ports out of that. Cuba will grow. Oh my God, yeah, bro. Click on the Caribbean, and they based and he basically just got everything but the the main islands of. He even got Puerto Rico. He got your islands. I'm guessing you gave them to him. But, yeah, he got, uh, all he needs is Haiti and Dominican Republic, and he basically controls the Caribbean pretty nicely. That's awesome. Let's see here. So, so he's already almost done his job. Well, not necessarily. He could, as soon as he con conquers Haiti and Guatemala, I'm sorry, not Guatemala, to make a republic, he can go to Guatemala and, like, a, a few of these other countries. Yeah, he can basically take Honduras, Nicaragua, like, he just airdrop on the capital, basically. It's like, yeah. sup, I'm <laughs> here now. Hello, everybody. I'm putting some influence on them because, again, in the Caribbean, I'm doing that because it won't impact you at all. Uh, the the Caribbean spear only affects 
Caribbean, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. It doesn't affect you. Um, actually, I don't think I have you. Yeah, I don't have Cuba. So, maybe I'll support Rock Island next. But honestly, awesome. So, my production is just shooting through the roof, which is perfect. Uh, I think I can add destroyers. Yes, destroyers. I want to add definitely add destroyers. I want to decrease that to five. Yeah. That'll work. 1.24 a month. We're going to decrease that a little bit. There we go. And we'll kind of focus more on... Uh, not like... Well, light cruisers a little bit would be good. There we go. I'm thinking now to just completely bomb, bomb, the, bomb the, the island of Hispaniola to shit. I'm going to go freaking Dresden on them. You're going Dresden yeah. on them. That's not, you know, the the best statement. Not exactly, but hey, it's, it's an accurate one for what I'm going to do. On that statement, he's not exactly off. There we go. Uh, he might not be off, but is he right? That's the true question. Of course not. Never, fam. All right, let's see. There we go. I can now modify the government. Let's uh, try some. Let's see. Democratic. Improve relations opinion. Uh, trade deal opinion. Oh, wow. That would actually affect a lot of people. That would kind of like me. Not now, though. Uh, military factory construction. Do I have a other construction? No, I don't. And I'm actually not even on military factories yet, so let's not get that. We're going through industry already. Um, can I change that? I can't. All right. We're on free trade. That's fine. I have enough resources for it. Let's try to actually... I guess let's just get war industries because I'm assuming we're going to get through. Yeah, we'll get through this sooner than la sooner or later. And that way we can jump and get through it. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to war against Argentina as well. Well, best of luck, you guys, with your wars. Don't fuck best up. And, uh, well, you saying what is probably not the best sign. Well, no, 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 the guy was like, oh, yeah, this is Mesopotamia, and I'm just like, hold on, back up there. Submarine bro. operations, convoy escorts, or carrier protection. We'll have a carrier protection, because we're going to have a ton of carriers at this point. Um, what you wait, what's going on with you? So you're declaring war against Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina. Great. Yep. So you're not going crazy at all with power. Oh, they also updated the division slot. That's kind of nice. So you can see how many divisions we made. That's... Yeah. So, you still don't have any planes, and you're going to invade another country in three a week. Actually. A couple weeks. November 3rd, yes. Cuba, what are you going to do exactly? I'm going to... <sighs> I'm going to turn Hispaniola into a fire zone. See, that's a statement that you ha you cannot back up whatsoever because you can't reach them to turn it into a fire zone. Uh, don't worry, fam. I'm researching bombers as we speak. I'm close enough. I'm cl You're close enough to launch them from right across the street. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we deal with. <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I guess just work on the Stuart. We got pretty much everything else underway. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to bust through Mexico, take it over. We have enough divisions for it. The problem is right now we can't do anything because we're skin. We're not entirely communist yet. We, once we become a communist nation, then I can declare war on Mexico, and they don't have any allies, so we can easily take them over. Um, Canada, on the other hand, is kind of more mixed bag. Depending on how they go, I'm assuming they're going to stay, but they could leave, honestly. Um, let's see, where is it? Yeah, so again, we have here Canada leaves allies. So they could leave if they go communist or fascist. I don't really care which, as long as they don't go democratic. The worst thing Canada can do is actually stay democratic. At least for me. Alright, so there's a war over there. We have some submission by Italy. Germany is doing the anti turn pack, which might hurt us. 
Just by a lot. I'm not seeing any huge sways in Eastern Defense. Okay. Um, not seeing any gigantic changes with any of these countries. They seem to be going down like the normal path. Yeah, Poland. They ne always Poland first. Ideological fanaticism, and then the between seas. I, I wish they would kind of vary it up a little bit more because it's. I always see that with Poland. I never see like a, I don't know, a, a fascist Poland or something. That's very rare. What's Yugoslavia doing? Yugoslavia is. Well, Greece is apparently going democratic, yet they still have a decent fascist uh, number, so we'll see how, you know, that goes. Iran is, oh wow, a mixed bag of everything. Oh my god, China didn't unify. What? Oh, there we go. I think they're unifying. No, they're not. You're right, they're not. Oh no, there uh, they go. Yep, they just changed. But that being said, Japan is, like, just overwhelming them. Well, yeah, they, um, like, ceded territory in the north. It wasn't a bottleneck. It was just a fucking steamroller. Oh, they just got Yunnan as well. Did they really yeah. cede territory? Yeah, they see the territory. They see the Beijing, Shandong, Hebei. Oh, yeah, that's what fucked them up. I love how they see territory after demanding from Japan that they gain we want more territory. Oh, wait, you guys are mad? Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. You're killing us. You're killing us. You're killing us! You're not killing us softly. Oh, no! Alright, so British Raj. Uh, Down the same thing. Okay. Wait. I wonder, isn't. Okay, I was gonna say, I know some areas you can liberate technically, like, I think they added, like, multiple different regions, now that, like, more countries that you can liberate and form out of, like, uh, bigger countries. Yep. Oh, shoot. So, Republican Spain is doing okay, they're kind of holding Madrid, but they're still have a decent number. I'm kind of hopeful that they can keep holding. Which, so what you're saying is they'll be fine. It's fine. It's it's okay, guys. Look, as long as as long as long as you know everything goes goes part well, I'm sure everything. Will be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. All right, wait I'm for that. Reward. Wait for that navy to get a little bigger. Okay, overall not doing too bad. Oh, here we go. So Brazil declared war on Paraguay, and uh. You've got to be fucking kidding me. What? Hold on. Wait, wait. I do have faint planes. Alright, so I shot up. Uh, I'm now at a point. You know what's funny? The, uh... I'm sorry. The ruling party for the United States literally turned to Communist Party USA. I wanted, I swear to God, I wanted Miley Cyrus to be like, oh, oh, it's a communist party in the USA. It's like, it, that's what it, that's what initially, like, popped in my head when I saw them. God damn it. Like, you, you just, no, you just lost me. Just, no. Yeah. So, um, I don't, oh, wait. Oh, shit. Your name is Caribbean now, so I do have... Oh, well, you actually know. Even though you have an ideology of defense, that'll just help you now with the communism. Um, so how exactly are you going to declare war on Haiti? I feel like you I'm didn't... Sorry, Warren. I, I just fight the war goal and all. I'm just, I just need to build up now. You just lost that war goal. So you probably just lost a bunch of... Um... Yeah, you did. You lost your base unity. Three. Alright. Don't I worry, see. he's, that's, he's fine. that's why when you do that's why when you declare war on somebody you have to make sure you are ready. Alright, that's it. That's it. No more no more Mr. Nice Croc. You haven't done anything to warrant Mr. Ni uh Mr. Angry Croc. The only thing you did was take some islands. Congratulations. The big prize has yet to I be even everything. fought for. Did everything I could. Bro, he will find 
and yeah. I will kill you. I know he will find me, and I will then send my navy completely block his nation for fifty years. Do nothing for Holy me. Baby. Do nothing for me, honestly, but hey, it will be awesome. Here we go, war propaganda. That will help us, I think. Uh, yeah, it will shoot my recruitable population up a bit. That will work. And uh, let's just get... What else can we get? Army experience, air experience, research time, nuclear research time. Let's get... Yeah, small arms research time. Let's work on that. We have to work on our guns anyway. We'll be getting those. Yeah, so we'll go support weapons too for the meantime, even though it's a little soon. We can get that. So how's your war, by the way? Oh, you're winning, I think. I already won the Paraguay War. Now I'm fighting in Uruguay. Okay. World tension increasing. Actually, Japan's still number one. So what? Your hope is to take Argentina, then move through, take Chile, and then then surround Bolivia. Uh, no, my my Argentina take Ch yeah exactly. Then I'll just push up. Argentina, I'm not going to lie, is going to be a literal hell uh, fight. But you can do it. You can win. You can do this. I will fucking kill you. You will try. You will try. Alright, so Mexico has more divisions than me. That's just reassuring. There we go. Oh, shoot. There, that'll work. Alright, so we need still some more artillery, more support guns. Oh, right, we haven't worked on production at all. We've still been working on uh, civilian factories. It's been so slow. Come on. I can't wait to go communism so I can stop going isolationism. That's going to be the biggest, like, uh, most amazing thing I can do. Okay, so Republican Spain's dying, but hey, they, they, they did a good job. If they can actually kill those forces surrounded, that might save them. Because, again, in case you're wondering, like, oh, how would that save them? If they can uh, surround troops and kill them, that automatically uh, stops, again, all less troops that this guy can use to go on the front line. So it kind of evens things out just a, a bit more. Not amazing, but it will help. Listen, it'll be fine. All right, you're good. Every you're good enough. Let's uh, put you on a patrol. And put you guarding more of the U.S. And slowly but surely, we'll bring out more fleets with uh, carriers stuff like that, and just keep pushing them more and more. Uh, as you can see, we can't extend it that far uh, simply because I think the fleet supply lines, etc., just can't extend that far. But eventually, we will, um, and it shouldn't be no problem. Again, it helps when you build better ships because then they go farther, and also you do some research on screening and stuff like that um, during that research tree. That kind of helps. Speaking of which, uh, let's go build some heavy cruisers. We'll make sure that's next up. And the battleship. That will be next up. Um, how many submarines are we still getting? So we're at 1.9 a year. That's fine. 11, about 12 a year. That's fine. Uh, okay, we're going destroyers. I feel like a few more light cruisers would be good a year. And I'm probably going to need a lot of these, honestly, to kind of catch those up. Battle cruisers we haven't updated yet, so we'll keep that on the down low. But with war propaganda going, we'll get more infantry to invade Mexico. And then we'll go over here and we'll go either carrier models or battle. Wait. Okay, so more communism. That's great. I probably want to go carrier, honestly, if I'm going to go carrier focus. Instead make of battleship. Sure you build, make sure you can build the fighters. Also, it looks like Republican Spain may finally be losing the war. No, they're still, it's still dead even. I like this new because it's now actual representative because the, the actual Spanish war lasted for three years. Yeah, actually, if you look, uh, National Spain has less divisions than uh, 
Republican Spain. So that's good. That kind of helps even the tie a bit. Side knows how to use them and the other one doesn't. That's a really good point. That is a very good point. Um, all right, so let me double check something real quick. Oh, there we go. War propaganda is done. Poland uh, is going to do that Baltic cooperation thing. All right, so let's see. Cooperation BS. Okay, so actually, prepare intervention. Uh, change economic laws to isolation, which grant consumer. Okay, so that would help us out. Wait, and what's this? Military construction. Adds five military uh, factories. Okay, that would be helpful, but I feel like right now getting our, you know, faster production would be more beneficial than we'll build those factories. The February Revolution. Wait, what? Is it really? Oh, wow. Spanish Civil War just ended. Hooray! Uh, start Civil War, or the revolution is inevitable, the inevitable can wait. Yeah, we'll do that. How much are we at? 62%. Okay. Alright, let's uh, start working on that Stuart. Seems like a good idea. And let's focus on... I guess a motorized? No, I, no, no, decryption. We definitely want to get a decryption done so we can see what the hell everyone else is doing. Because that makes for, you know, better gameplays and also makes for, you know, a better idea. The Balkan strategy. Really? You're doing that? So, sanction Italy, war with Italy. Alright. United Kingdom giving no fucks. Wait, really? They're, that's what they're going down? Yep. Well, they are an ally. Tech, what has Germany done? Germany, com comically enough, hasn't done much this episode. They're Basically now the conquering world. Austria. I love how every other country does so much, and Germany's like, hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait. They're, they're the one. They're, bro, they take the longest, but it's like the Spartan laser. Netherlands has joined the allies, so be very wary about that. Oh, that's not good. No. Also, France is now in the allies as well. All right, un-American activities is preferable to a bloody revolt. There we go. We are now the Communist Party USA. Um, that isn't weird whatsoever. I mean, it just flows right off the tongue. So hopefully, with after doing prepared intervention, we can get off this little. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let, yeah, this undisturbed isolation bullshit. Yeah, we can shoot all the way up to a war economy once we save up, and that's going to help us immensely. With that as well, we can get more men, which means we can also get more people going and being made. So we can invade Mexico. Canada is... Wait. Why is there fascism? Is Canada going fa No, they haven't picked anything. Okay. So... Trying to figure out what I could do next. Do I have research? No, still a bit away. Alright, we'll do that in the meantime. Improved infantry equipment. So that way we have better men. Um, we'll oh wait, Cuba. Hi. Uh, send at least the Caribbean. It's like, oh yeah, you're here. Hi. Oh, I. How's everything going? I exist. I can't send you anything until you're at war. Oh, good, you have some planes. That's good to see. That's good to see you actually have a plane. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure it, it's glitching because, like, if you look around the edges, it, it's kind of it's national Spain is kind of fucked up. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. What's your tech tree like? Just everything is... Alright. Well, at first thing I was thinking, did everything get thrown in there? Did, was it, like, all molded? Sure, why not? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going with yes. Well. Now I just need to figure out how to bomb. <laughs> 
you tell your troops to advance on a certain area and then they deal with it. <laughs> exactly. It's the perfect strategy. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing, Batman. It's amazing. My production's <laughs> finally doing decent. All right, come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. You can win. You can do this. All right, now I'm telling you to shut up. Uh, Canada, <laughs> though, seems kind of mad at me. They have, well, a lot... mad at you. they have a lot of divisions on my border, so I'm kind of worried. We could have a Canadian bacon situation on our hands. Terrible movie from the 90s. It was funny enough. It was kind of bad. But it was still had some decent moments. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, babe. There's Australia. Hey. Uh, 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 holy uh, uh, shit. All right, Brazilian uh, declare war on Argentina. Italy joined the Axis. Finland hand over Alan to Sweden. All right. Intervention going on. Italy pursues closer war bonds. And I can't announce the Balkan dip. Oh, god damn it. Just everything's on fire. Everything's dead. We'll just, Everything's on fire. We'll do military construction for right now. We need to start boosting our production. That's the big thing right now. All right, so once we get enough political power, all we're going to do is we're going to jump up, turn this uh, little isolation isolation into a war economy. That will help us, you know, deal with other stuff. And with that, we will then be able to conquer most of the world. It's going to be great, everybody. It's going to be fantastic. Let's see. And my brother's already doing a terrible job. We can see, actually, Argentina... I'm kidding. Well, oh, they had a Nico invasion. Yeah, they actually came up from behind you. Holy God, they're actually pretty good. They... Wow. They have a lot of divisions, actually. I don't know how good they are as you're steamrolling through their country, but, you know, they have quite a few. You know, it's not good enough, though. Not good enough to save them. So Germany is now demanding Sudetenland. So they have their own little faction going. Soviet Union is doing its own thing. Wow, okay, uh, say goodbye to China. Yeah. China countered somehow and got around Japan, but Japan just encircled them. So, Japan is going to have a huge country. Like, that's going to be incredible. What are they going to do? Alright, naval. again, I'll have to worry about Japan eventually. Maybe go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. But, uh... Yeah, that's not a great sign. Well, god damn it. Let's do that decryption so I stay ahead of the game. <laughs> yeah, China's pretty much gonna fall. Um, how's our communist oh wow, yeah, 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 Australia's communist. They have a kangaroo on their flag and a guy in a of course. You oh, can tell it's a mod just... by this amazing picture, but go on. <laughs> what is the guy's name again? The guy oh, Richard Dixon. Richard Dixon, the head of all right, the head of the Communist Party in God damn it in Australia. I can't even say it with a straight face. How can you? It's such a glorious name. Oh wait, I've do oh I have a fleet over here. I didn't even know. Uh, you know what? You can just do this, and we'll have you on search and destroy. And your mission is to protect this region. That way this region is secure. We'll get more down here. And we'll kind of expand a little bit more in the Pacific. Japan, it, it should be at least more difficult for Japan to fight us. We're gonna, And then we'll make a big large navy to combat them. We'll make the Coles fleet of navies. Coolest fleet? No, Coles fleet. Oh. That just said coolest. I was like, hey guys... This is Grey Shot over here. Look at this awesome, cool fleet. It's totally rad. But I, if that was your strategy, I was gonna say, you know, it should work wonders. Freaking wonders. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, oh good. There we go. My production has already skyrocketed decently. Come on. 
more facility with all these that should be five and then we'll be able to breeze through all this military construction and that'll help us with the war eventually how's Mexico doing yeah we need to up our ante if we're gonna fight Mexico they don't have a different tech tree right okay don't have to worry about <laughs> the Mexicans storming in of course not you're storming through Argentina. Hey, Cuba, how are you doing? We, you've been rather silent lately. Oh, look, you I have... I now have strategic bombers. Why do you have strategic bombers? You need transport planes, fighters, and parachutes. Burn it all. Burn the world. The amount of... Alright, just letting you know, the amount of bombers you currently have, I could send a tenth of my air force and destroy it. <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> like seriously, a tenth of my air force. <laughs> you poor, poor thing. Bully. What the fuck? Did you win? No, Argentina is still conquering you from behind. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that for long. Let's see this current war. Oh, military construction. Jesus Christ, the Munich Agreement. Military construction, Italy lays awesome. claims to Greek territory, that's great. Now, the United Kingdom is guaranteeing Greece, so we'll see how, you know, if that war starts. Argentina is slowly being taken over. Current wars. Let's see. Uh, 92,000 to 12,000, so Brazil definitely not taking that many losses. Flip side, though, Japan has lost 87,000 troops. China, well, it, just entirety, has lost over 600,000. 20, oh, close to 25,000. Holy God. How much have I lost? I've lost 12,000 men. He's lost 92,000. Yay me! This is what happens when a well-oiled machine invades another, you know, poorly created nation. Yeah. Get wrecked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe grab some more political power. Oh wait, oh my god, it switched! It switched from daily it to communist support. Wow, that's a cool looking freaking flag, man. So I can so essentially I now have daily communism support in all those countries now. Really? Yes. I'm doing it. I'm absolutely doing it. So now each of those countries is slowly becoming communism. You all you have to do is turn the United States into a communist nation, and they'll solely impact the rest of the world. That is awesome. So wait, does that mean Haiti and Dominican Republic are slowly becoming? No, I think they got drift defense, right? Yeah, they got drift defenses. But now the Caribbean, U.S. influence, daily democracy plus five. Why? Whatever. Don't know why that's going on. Well. There goes the axis. Well, and so started World War II. And Already? It's 1938. I mean, Italy's gonna get so destroyed. Like, I'm not. We can all like safely, safely put out there that the the axes are fucked because they did that too early, right? Right? All right. Right. So it looks like while our weaker fascist competitors are doing battle with the, you know, the allies, we will take over most of this area and just, you know, conquer the world. It's, it's great. As any normal nation should. Yeah, exactly. But in any case, guys, that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Wait, Make wait, sure you give guys... Give me a second. Give me one second. Aha! I took Argentina's capital. No, and... the... Col Corbeo is still there. Give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. And. 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 Hold on. They just it's like you're powering up. It's like, uh. I don't see anything changing, honestly. Damn it, I took another capital and they didn't die. Just a lot of disappointment. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> you know, it, it, this only happens every time. It's normal. I was so close. Why won't this war end? It's Let's... the war that never ends.
goes yeah. on. Yeah. Well, you have to be more careful. I mean, you're at 93%, so you're very close. But you do have to be very careful now because, again, anything we could do could provoke the allies into, you know, attacking us. So we have to be extremely careful of how we proceed. Yes, extremely careful. Why do I think you're, like, extremely careful, declares war on the UK? Well, there you go. So, bro, send us off. Hey, wow, okay. There we go. There's Brazil for you. Um, ah. But, yeah, in any case, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for our communist playthrough in the Americas. See you next time, guys. See you, guys.